Ooh, we're listening to jams on the radio. Hey man, what's going wrong with your radio? I think your radio is broken. Here's a fun little project that I took on after the AM FM radio in my Jeep stopped working. I'm pretty sure the receiver was blown from doing radio from the Jeep. I'm not worried about that. All I really wanted was to mount my Yaesu FT891 out of the way yet still have a nice looking interface, so I took this as a sign that it was time to design. What I'm showing you now is how I designed it in Fusion 360. I'm pretty sure this works for all models of Jeep Wranglers from 2007 to 2018 that have a doubled in radio. This was the third round of creating this and actually making the measurements correct. I printed two prototypes and they didn't quite fit. And then I realized I made some measurement issues. And this is the lock ring, the anti-rotation ring that goes to the back of the head of the radio. And it's supposed to keep it from spinning around, but it's such a tiny part, it's hard to actually I print. made my radio disappear. The first thing I want to mention is the Yesu separation kit. I made these. All it is is Cat5 cable, and it has a foam plug, which is RJ11, and then the RJ45 is the Ethernet size. And you'll have to make those. The RJ11 is for your head. And it's just six wires. You just crimp it in place. And I just had this laying around the house. It's an audio extension cable. And so you can use that to extend the external speaker that you'll mount somewhere else. Okay, so this is only like the sixth time I've done this. But here it is. You can see I had to come in here in the middle of the night and fix part of the uh, raft, not the raft, what is that? Ooh, it curved around pretty bad right there. That whole thing lifted up. <sighs> that sucks. But I'm gonna have to live with it because I'm, I'm down to the last row and a half of filament. But I think this version is going to work. I've made too many mistakes, too many mistakes, but I think it's going to work this time. So we're going to clean it up, see if it fits. So the super glue has been applied and this is the pretty tricky part. You've got to get it to line up right on. I did four layers. And it worked out that four perimeters puts that right in the center. So then you super glue that down. I would not recommend putting your radio on that until that super glue has cured. Otherwise, you run the chance of actually super gluing your radio to that instead of it just being screwed on there. So when you actually print it correctly, those are the three holes that I got lined up. And you can see that I made the holes in the actual bracket a little bit smaller than the original screws that were holding the radio in. It turned out really well. Camera doesn't want to focus this morning. All right, we've super glued this in place. We're going to let that cure for a little while before actually putting the radio on. So we'll put the lid back on the super glue. Ooh, dishwasher's running. Alrighty. So now the next part is to see can I put it in the Jeep? Look, it actually fits this time. So now we'll get our radio on there and put the screws in.
Once you get the screws in, oh the mounting plate turns out wonderful. So if you want to tackle this project, I'll have the parts on Thingiverse where you can print one yourself. Free of charge. The next step is to wire up the microphone connector. That is the one that uses the RJ45. So I got this block and then I just taped it to the side and boom, look at there. Works perfect. This is Whiskey One, Radio Charlie Papa, CQ Parks on the Air. Alpha Delta Two, Charlie Delta. Six, Golf Romeo. Alpha Delta Two, Charlie Delta, Toby, you're five nine at Reed Bingham State Park. Roger, one of my saves, you're five nine New Jersey, Bobby. Thank you, seven three. Thank you so much in 70. And now it's time to put your Jeep back together. Put all the trim back. And my Yesu speaker has not arrived yet, but I'm going to zip tie it to the air vent. And then on Thingiverse, I have all the STL files ready for you to go that you can print out free of charge. I need to put a link to that somewhere. Check out the description of this video.